Hello Pre-Calculus students and welcome to our continuing series here of videos on uh, how to deal with combinatorics, in other words, how to count. Okay. And I have a question here that says, there are 10 people, how many ways can we choose a team of three representatives? And so we can always list this out, like we can have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, those are the names of the 10 people. And how many ways can we arrange these uh, these people here? Well, I can pick a team that has A, B, C on it. Okay. Then I can pick a team that could possibly have you know um, A, B, D on it. Okay. And I can also pick a team that has A, B, F, and so on. And there's a lot of different choices here. Okay. Now, one thing that you might be tempted to do is to say 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. Okay. And I'm going to put a circle here and say, well, is this the correct answer? I mean, maybe it is, maybe it's not. You can probably tell from my tone that there's more to it than this. Um, and this is actually not correct for this particular case. Okay. And let me show you why. Because it says here, how many ways can we choose a team of three representatives? So a couple key words, you got team, three representatives. And so what this means is that A, B, C, I can also choose my, my representatives this way, A, C, B, A, sorry, uh, B, C, A, C, A, B, B, A, C, and C, B, A. And these are, again, identical teams. It doesn't matter who I pick first. All of these cases, it's the same team. Okay. Now, if these were three people running a race, then all of these would be different scenarios. But since here, in this particular case, the order does not matter. Like, it doesn't matter who we choose first, whether A is chosen first or B is chosen first. Okay, so this is one different team. Now, ABD is a different, all of these are the same teams, but ABD is a different team. And we can rewrite ADB, uh, A, or sorry, B, A, B, D, A, B, A, D, so on. We can get, we can get all six of these choices too. So it's almost like there are 10 factorial okay, over uh, 10 minus 3 factorial ways to choose. Okay. But if you look at this, there are repetitions. Okay. But we can regroup into groups, I should say, regroup into identical uh, groups of six. Okay. So for all of these different choices, there's a lot of choices. This is a pretty big number. But we can take this and we can regroup them into groups of six. So we don't want to count it too many times. We have to divide it by six. Okay. And that's the answer. Well, I don't know what this number comes out to. You should take this, put it into your calculator, and try to answer it. Um, but uh, that's this is the answer that, that, that you're going to get. Okay, so I'll simplify it a little bit more. This is 10 factorial over 7 factorial times 6. And uh, we're going to pause here a little bit and before we go on to the next topic. And you should think about, well, how do I generalize this process? And ask yourself, what if you had n people and you want to pick r representatives? Okay. Sorry, let me spell this better here. r representatives. Okay. How would this equation change? Well, in this case, 10 is equal to r, 
we want to pick, sorry, 10 is equal to n, because that's how many people we have to, to begin with. Uh, 3 is equal to r. Okay. So we got 10 n factorial over n minus r factorial. But how does this 6 come into play? Well, let me switch boards here. So let's, let's break this down a little bit. n factorial is number of ways to arrange n people or items or objects. Okay. Now the reason we do this n minus r factorial, well this part here is that if we only want r of those n people. Okay. So this is like saying I have 10 different people and there's 10 factorial ways to do to arrange them. However, I only want three of them. So r here is what we subtract from this. Watch one of the previous videos if you didn't get up to this point yet. And now we have this new thing where there's something else that we have to adjust here. Well, if you take these r people, there are r factorial ways to arrange them. To arrange the subgroup of r people. So looking at this example here, you have, you're picking three, but there are three factorial ways to arrange them. And in fact, you can make groups of three factor that are the, that have a total number of R factorial items that are ex essentially the same thing. Okay. So we have to make this adjustment here by dividing also by R factorial. So this, in this particular case, the generalized method is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. And remember, this is this entire thing is in the denominator. So be very careful where you put your parentheses when you do this on a calculator. And so again, um, I, this I, you know I went over this. Uh, at a moderate pace, but I know it's still very difficult for a, for a lot of you to understand this, and that's okay. You're in good company. It takes it took me a long time to figure this out for myself. It took it's going to take you a, a little bit of time as well. Um, and if you have questions on this, you should talk to your teacher. He or she can probably help you to to think about this multiple different ways because this, this stuff is is kind of the things that really mess with your brain, and you, you really have to sort it out for yourself. There isn't any, there's no magical formula. I mean, there's this here, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really mean anything if you don't know when or how to use it. Okay, so you just have to put a lot of thought into this. Think about how things can be arranged um, so that it makes sense to you. As always, ask help if you need it. Thank you for watching. Have a terrific day.